hi everyone welcome to my channel again and thank you for stopping by this time to those who have been watching my video and engaging thank you so much and to my new subscribers thank you so much please if you have not subscribed please do so like this video because i bring to you content updates on va journey remote job and lots more okay so in today's video i'm going to share with you how to create your um a, a cover letter tailoring to a particular job and how to create your resume tailor into a particular job and then revamp your linkedin which you are going to submit as your week six milestone okay so this is exactly what you're going to submit in your week six, week six milestone the the resume the linkedin link and also your cover letter okay let's go on so first of all the first thing you have to do is you go to your linkedin if you have not downloaded your linkedin already so download your linkedin and then sign up then if you have maybe you go to revamp it if you click on your linkedin just like this you're going to see your profile looking this way so by that time it might not be looking this beautiful so all you need to do is for you to go create a banner like a linkedin banner you can use canva maybe i'm going to show you in the next video how to do that create a banner and put in your link in to make it beautiful then you go to the edit section you see this pain icon here so this is where you click and edit once you click on edit it's going to show you change your name use your name make sure that you use the name that you have in your id right okay so you put your name right once you put your name you okay let me just click on it so that you see once you click on it you see you put your face name your last name then you come down here and write your headline now this headline it's about your skill services you want to offer let me say administrative assistant executive mm -hmm. assistant you list them um travel planner a lot more you just leave them here and then you click save once you click on save it's going to update it and you will start seeing it and your headline here right so you now go to the next one which is the about session when you click on the about session you edit it okay you edit it and detail it like make sure that you detail your about session it should contain your educational inf your educational information your job experience you know what's what to make you feel like just do write something that will make you stand out you understand so that's just it for the about session i guess they gave you templates of what summary that's the template of a summary so you can you can copy that and then tailor your own customize your own to look like that so that is it for the about session the next thing is for you to go to your experience so if you have experience previous experience job experience you can list them out here especially if they are related to what you are about to do right you can list them here and then if you don't really have experience in this new field yeah and in an entry let's say entry level personnel so you can use the ones you did for your network right maybe you did um you did a travel plan for me so you can put it there right so that's just it and for you to do that you know now so you just click on it then for the educational section okay so you see here when you come to this um job this your job experience so you put the title of the position you you did then you put your job role, the name of the company, the year you worked with the company. Then you tick here. If you are currently working with that company, you tick here. But if you are no more working with them, if you untick that place, it's going to show you dates where to put your end, the day you stopped working with them. That's just it. And the next thing is for you to list out the roles, the roles, the job roles you did in your previous work. So you list them out there. Those are your experience, right? You list them out there. And finally, the skills you got from that job. So after that, you can now click on save. And once you click on save, it will update your um, job experience. So you keep doing like that. If you have three jobs, four jobs, five jobs, you add them there. So you're not limited. And make sure you use bullet point when you're listing your, your experience under your job session, right? So that is just it. And the next thing you do is to go to your certification and uh, educational certification. So you choose um, the school you went to, the trainings you have had, like any training you have had, whether it's on LinkedIn, whether it's on Facebook, whether it's anywhere that are related to 
this your position so you add them here there and then you look at it and your linkedin is ready so the next thing you have to do now is for you you see that um they say you should customize your link yes your link you are going to submit your link and to do that you go to where you see me click on me when you click on me you will see here profile url profile url so you click on profile url okay so you click on profile url you see there you click on that pin icon to edit it when you click on it it will open edit and then you're going to see you're going to see it will have your own will have alphabet and numbers at the end not like this this is my own is this one here is customized so what you do is you click on edit that edit sign that pin sign when you click on that pin sign it's going to show you where you can edit this last name part so you can edit and put your name maybe blessing oka for maybe Chine do and then you put your name or maybe you customize maybe a business name anyhow you want to so you just customize it so it will make it short and after customizing it you save it now that's the link you are going to copy and submit as your milestone but to submit this link make sure that you add that https okay now the easy way to do this is this if you copy this link right if you copy this your link now you paste it on the browser it is definitely going to show you this https and once it show you the https that is when you now copy that one that shows just like this just like what i'm showing you now you see okay the reason why i can't edit mine is because i'm still under the edit option so let me go back let me go back so you see i just copied this one see copy it like this then you take it to your browser you paste it there you click on enter mm? click on enter once it enter you see this is how it is if you tap on it you see it now has that HTTPS. So you copy this one. So is this one that you are going to copy and submit as your milestone? Copy this one, submit as your milestone. Okay. So that is just it for the LinkedIn. So you have been able to revamp your LinkedIn and you have submitted your LinkedIn profile link. Right. So the next thing is for us to prepare a cover letter. Now this cover letter has to be tailored to a particular job advert that you have seen. Maybe on the, indeed, maybe someone shared it to you or maybe LinkedIn. So all you need to do is to get the job adverts first, right? So that is it. So if you see this icon where we have um, this icon that I have that shows job, job up here. Yes. So you click on this icon. It's going to take you to show you list of jobs that matches your profile. Yes. After you have set your profile, you are going to see this. This they are going to match you with things like this that are that matches your profile. So you see, I clicked on the administrative assistant position and it's going to open. So this is it. It just opened, showing us the job description. And this is the job title, looking okay, administrative assistant. And the person wrote here that they're going to pay $10 to $15 per hour. You know, so it's a remote job and it's full time. Okay. So the next thing is for us to look at the job description. Now you see here, they will tell us what is expected of you. If before you should apply to this, we should look at the job roles. Can you do these job roles? So if it meets your personality, if it meets what your capabilities, so you can apply for it. So look at what they expected of you. And these are simple administrative assistant job roles. Okay. So and I believe by now you know how to do all this one. So you just click on apply. But before you apply, you know, you have to have your cover letter and your LinkedIn. Okay, so let's go to creating copy. Let's select this responsibility here. Copy this responsibility. Now we are going to create a cover letter and tailor it to what these people are expecting us to have. The keywords here. So now for us to do this, I thank God for AI. So you can go to either ChatGPT or Gemini. Right, you type here, maybe write a cover letter for administrative assistant position at Strive Nest. Okay, then you now put those keywords, you, you paste those keywords, you copy it and enter. Now, look at what Chat GPT is giving us. You look at it. So, once you, you see, it has already tailored this cover letter based on the keywords and the key roles expected in case they use ATS to for all these things so that you will be given opportunity to go for interview okay so the next thing you do is you look at here they have the if you know the name of the person um 
you are sending this letter to, you can write. But if you don't know the name, you can just write hiring manager. If it's head of department, you write the head of the social -so department, right? And then the name of the company or organization or the person, right? And then you come down to the salutation, dear hiring manager. But we advise to use hiring manager. So you can just write dear hiring manager. Then you come to the body of your letter where you tell them how you are excited to apply for the position in their company and you tell them where you saw the advert. Then you start telling them why you are fit for the job all in the first paragraph. Then you go to the second paragraph where you tell them about your, um, your skills, how you think your skills will fit into that job. You put it there. At least you have sample with you. Then you go to the next paragraph where you explain your previous job roles and how they are related to the current position you are applying for. You see? And then you conclude. That is it. That is just it. That is just it. Then once you do this, you can copy this. Copy this from the AI. And then you take it to your Word document or your Google Doc. Let's say Google Doc because you are going to post submit this. Take it to your Google Doc. Example, see what I'm going to do. I copied it to my Google document, just like this one I showed you. Now, you make sure that you you make sure that you you have a date, you write a date. You write date either at the top corner, left corner, or the top right corner. Either at the top left corner or the top right corner. So you write the date. And then you tell her, okay, dear hiring manager, then you co customize the body of your letter. Please make sure that the body of your letter, you don't copy verbatim from AI. Imagine if I was a hiring manager and you, a lot of people are giving me AI um, cover letter. I would know that maybe you guys don't know what to do. So the next thing you do, customize it. This AI is just to guide you give you guidelines on what to do and how to give the best right so you just guide you use your words put in your words you know okay to fit in customize it to yours and then make sure that you have the, the date there very important then add your email where they can contact you at the end or your phone number or anything your whatsapp linkedin anyone that don't forget it must not be more than one page that's just it then the next thing is you go to the share button and then you make sure that everybody can see it once you know everybody can see it, then you copy the link and that is what you are going to submit as one of your milestone cover letter. Mm -hmm. Cover letter. Now, after submitting your cover letter, the next thing is a resume, right? So you can all copy all this link and keep in one place. So when you are submitting, you just copy each of them, you know, and submit. So the next thing you do is let's go and do resume. Now we are going to tailor resume based on the job role description we used here. It's the same job description we are using for resume. No, remember, for the job position, you are submitting resume and cover letter, right? So now you come here, click on here where we have the resume go to the templates that you were given you're given different template choose the one that suits you right and give the template then the first thing you show is you show put your contact information your name the title of the job you know and then make sure your email your contact is there maybe email then your linkedin profile if you have a portfolio put but for now if you don't know how to create a portfolio i have a video here that shows how to create a portfolio step by step guide you can check it out how to create a portfolio if you are you don't have a portfolio but it's not important in this milestone but after this you need it to always submit your job you have to add your portfolio both in your on your linkedin profile you need it because people that might see you as a match can actually go to see the sample of your work and contact you for a job you know so that's it so create a portfolio there's a video here in the uh, description box on how to create a portfolio check it out now make sure in your resume you have all this information your contact information your professional summary then you have your job, previous job experience if you don't have job experience you can use maybe the one you did for your network like volunteer job then you now go to your uh, skills the tools you are good at then you now have your is your resume sorry your reference right so that is just it for the resume so you just tell all your resume there's a template there is a template there is a template and then you tailor or make sure all these things are inside and then you go to the share button then you get the link and you submit it as your third link in your milestone so that is all for the weeks the cover letter the linkedin profile and your resume 
so that is just it so guys if this video have helped you in any way i didn't want to make it at first because i thought it's an easy task to do but i just got that some people need assistance and help okay that's why i did it so thank you so much for watching my video i'll keep bringing to you va content and how to succeed and excel as a va so stay tuned subscribe to my channel if you have not bye